guys jump on Call of Duty World War II today, or if you have done so already, you probably were prompted with a little message saying that there was a playlist update available for Call of Duty World War II. With that said, and what we've known for a little bit of time now, it brought something that was long awaited, that being Domination XL, but there actually was surprisingly a decent number of other things thrown in intermittently that you might not have noticed. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at everything that really changed within Call of Duty World War II's most recent playlist update, because it is something that isn't necessarily all that massive in the sense that it's an update fully for a patch that's going to require an actual download, but it does have a little bit more than just giving us Domination XL. So today in this video, we're going to be taking a look at everything that did change with this, and also it kind of goes hand in hand with the community update that actually went live as of recording this. So it works out nicely, two birds with one stone in a sense, but with that said, let's just jump right into it. So the first thing, once again, is that Domination XL is something that was added in. If you go over to the featured playlist, you go over and take a look at what's available. You still have the Leprechaun Hunt playlist, you still have Shipment 1944, but you also have Domination XL and Domination XL Hardcore. These new playlists offer double XP, which is actually pretty cool, for the following weekend from now until Monday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 5 p.m. GMT. I think I've been saying 6 p.m. GMT, but with the time changes and everything with daylight savings time here in the States, it's kind of been off put a little bit. And now the time change is a little bit different, but I digress. Domination XL though is a ton of fun if you guys enjoyed what was Domination for previous versions of Call of Duty you ended up having that 100 points per kill that's what you can play around with and tinker around with here it is a lot easier to get your streaks surprisingly you don't see as much requisitions as what I initially thought and if you do well chances are you'll get that out of the way very quickly and then for about the next three quarters of the match you won't have any issue with it but that said you're gonna be able to get your streaks very easily I ended up rolling a ton of streaks on stream earlier today having a grand old time almost at the 100 plus in the one scenario as well but the one thing that you might want to keep your eye out for is that shipment 1944 is in that domination xl playlist so bear that in mind if you go in it might destroy your kd in some situations it might make you thrive whatever it may be though just keep your eyes out for it but that said ton of fun definitely worth trying out and for a limited time i may say unfortunately domination xl is not being introduced as a permanent mode just yet that might change in the future we don't know but currently domination xl is only available until monday at 10 a.m pacific standard time march 26th so double xp ends in these playlists when these playlists leave so overall domination xl as a whole is going to be only available for this weekend unfortunate but it is what it is hopefully we see it return very soon because immediately i'm in love with it i don't think that i want to go back to regular domination now along with domination xl being added and we actually ended up having a slight adjustment to two different weapons within world war ii the mp40 and the type 100 so for the mp40 out of this adjustment we ended up seeing a little bit of a buff to it but not in the sense of fire rate damage or range like that personally i thought that they would readjust the fire rate for what was adjusted back in the last Last update that was seemingly something that kind of went under the radar and not many people noticed and they actually went back to even edit their patch notes initially to say that it was added in so it wasn't even listed to the general public so I thought maybe that would have been an issue that was say an accident and they redo that but to my surprise it actually wasn't anything to do with the fire rate instead it was another adjustment to the recoil so there was a buff to the recoil in the sense that it makes it a little bit easier to control than what it was previously which if you guys remember they actually recently had a buff to the recoil so this thing might be the new laser in World War II, might not be. I haven't played around with it just yet to make my entire determinations on it, but that's something that I think you guys should be aware of. Now, as for the Type 100, this was once again another slight buff to the weapon, but again, in this sense, to the fire rate. So, this one, it got a slight increase to the fire rate, making it probably a little bit more viable compared to some of the other SMGs. Back in the beta, I love the Type 100, but after release, it kind of just went by the wayside for me. It felt like a standard SMG, but nothing that really stood out. So, in terms of the meta and how things would give me a competitive advantage i didn't really use it all that much after i got gold for it so maybe this brings it up to speed a little bit and makes it a little bit more viable of an option and we'll see it a little bit more in the meta of world war ii but we'll have to see in time Next thing up that was actually changed out a little bit was a little bit with a care package bug that was something that we detailed up on the channel about a week to maybe two weeks ago, talking about some stuff that was changed that nobody really noticed out of the update. But if you guys remember back to that video, the care package ended up having an adjustment to it where you could not actually shoot the parachute and the care package would drop. So if you were to go and do this at any point in time during the beta, during the full release, even up until about a month ago, and even now you can end up doing it because it was fixed, but if you were to go and shoot the parachute of the care package, it would shave about a second off the time that it would take for you to call it in and it to drop down to get your streak. 
So while it wouldn't necessarily be that much of a deterrent in terms of the overall time, you couldn't actually shoot it down to which it would have to just float down and then drop, but that still once again is a half second that in a pinch situation, maybe like on point to hawk, that makes all the difference. But that bug was since fixed and I heard an interesting theory that it was something to do with the paratroopers and the coding for that parachute so you don't shoot them out of the air. That might be something that actually makes sense, at least in my books it does, but again, I'm no game engineer, so I couldn't tell you the exact reasoning behind it. But regardless, it is fixed. Now while publicly detailed, that was pretty much the extent of it, there actually are a few things that were miscellaneously thrown in the mix here, on top of this that you might not notice, out of the Reddit post and then out of what was listed on the blog post as well on Sledgehammer's blog. So for this, let's start out with one that is kind of weird and actually really random, and I would not have known about it if it wasn't for my good friend Prestigious Key. He ended up tweeting this out, saying that in his mail station, he actually got a free rare supply drop bundle, five supply drops that for him didn't produce any duplicates, so again, I I haven't seen anything for this in my own mail station, but it seems like it was random. Not everybody has it, some people have it. So check your mail station to see if you ended up being chosen as one of the lucky few to get this rare supply drop bundle. And of course, if you end up getting this, let me know what you end up getting. If you don't get any duplicates, that'd be awesome to see that maybe these are dupe protected or maybe it's something in which supply drops overall as a whole are now having a better RNG yield rather than just giving duplicates on duplicates on duplicates. I'm really interested to see how this actually breaks down because again, I don't have this to take part in it and I'm just kind of curious to see what it could lead to. So that's it, a little involvement with this one, but definitely cool thing that again, not many people including myself would have noticed if it weren't for my friend Prestige. The next thing I want to talk about is a little bit of the Volk contract. Last week we ended up getting the Sten in the special contracts for World War II in which you could end up spending 4,000 armory credits for what was a relatively simple challenge. I was a couple of headshots in about an hour and 15 minutes time or something like that. But 4,000 armory credits and it essentially guaranteed you to get the base version of the Sten. That said, some people really took advantage of it, some people liked it, some people didn't like it, but regardless, this week we saw the introduction of the Volkstrom Gewehr as this new weekly contract within World War II. For this week's contract, you can end up getting the Volkstrom Gewehr for 4,500 armory credits and it'll activate the challenge of 130 kills in hardcore modes with a time limit of two hours. So like last week with the stand, it is something that is relatively manageable and very easy to do if you end up playing and going for those kills. And all you really have to do is play hardcore TDM because those games will probably only last about five minutes or so on average. So you'll have around say 24 to 25 matches to get that opportunity of 130 kills, which if you average that out, once again, isn't all that much. Very attainable in trying to get this, but it's just the price tag that comes in at a hefty weight. 4,500 armor credits is quite a bit, even with that in increase to the payroll on each hour. That'd still take you a lot to make up just off of playtime alone, but it is there as an option if you so choose to take it. Next week, who knows what it could be, but I'm hopeful that we end up seeing some sort of special order because I don't want to spend all that much on armory credits for the pistols and of course the new weapons as well, the M30 and the MG81 at some point in time, but we'll see once again in time where that takes us. Now on top of the Volt contract, if we're sticking over with the Quartermaster, this is where we end up seeing a brand new thing introduced with this playlist update as well. Because if you go and take a look at some of the viable bundles within the Quartermaster, you can end up seeing that today started the introduction of a heroic triple play for 3,000 COD points. So with this, you'll end up getting 10 rare supply drops and two heroic weapon bribes, in which each of those bribes has one heroic dupe protected weapon with two other random items as well. And the 10 rare supply drops aren't dupe protected, but it's a nice little stash if you want to end up doing it. Now, the thing is, I'm not a huge fan of buying COD points, but if you guys want to give this a shot, again, that's all up to you. But the thing that kind of bothers me about this and leads into the next thing that I want to talk about is there's no special order this week when having a special bribe like this, a triple play bundle, that'd be a perfect time to offer that as a brand new special order. Something that you can just use for playtime instead of having to pay 3000 COD points. So unfortunately, there is no special order this week, but Maybe next week we'll see one. Now the final thing that was actually addressed in today's update was that of the spectator bug issue. If you guys remember back with the introduction of Shamrock and Awe, we ended up seeing that there was the reintroduction of the spectator bug, which plagued World War II for months on end, but was finally fixed and patched out in the past couple of months. So we had a little bit of time in which there was no issue whatsoever, but with this most recent update with Shamrock and Awe, it brought it back. Now, as of today's update, you shouldn't have that issue anymore, which is nice. Sledgehammer said they addressed this and it was something that was fixed. So if you had an issue with it, I wouldn't expect to have it much more. Now, the final two things I want to talk about today actually aren't addressed within this update that happens today, but instead were detailed within Sledgehammer's blog post that will be changes coming up in the very near future. The first thing of these dealing with emblems. Now, 
as we talked about in a recent video, Emblems actually had a little bit of a bug where you could not download or upload anything to the Emblem Gallery and everything that we had also on top of that was frozen in those top 50. So in terms of the uploading and downloading, that's something that was a UI error that they're looking to currently resolve that they don't have anything for just yet and they will push through when it does happen. But then they as well threw in that there's going to be a way to circumnavigate those first 50 emblems and only those because they're going to add in two different tabs for the emblem gallery, that being a trending and a recent tab for the emblems. So trending will be a leaderboard with the most votes in the last 14 days. So they'll still cycle in and out over time, but not as frequently. But then recent will be the most recently updated across the globe, sorted purely on the latest date and time. So you could probably refresh and have a new list of these every five minutes or so, or even quicker, depending on how fast people are uploading their emblems. But regardless, you'll be able to see a lot more than just what is on the top 50 page. Now, as for the timing of that, that feature will be available in the next title update. As for an ETA on that, well, we don't exactly have anything that confirms it, but my guess would be at the end of the month whenever Shamrock and Awe is finished, and then we'll have an update to make everything go back to normal within the regular headquarters and regular World War II. Now, the final thing is dealing with a memory error leak that has been happening and something that will be fixed is that a lot of people were sending images of memory error issues and messages that they got as a result. Again, at the time, they said they don't really have anything as a stable fix yet, but they're looking at it and hoping to determine something very soon. So definitely some cool stuff on the horizon and what we got already is pretty awesome as well. So that's where we're gonna wrap up this video. Hopefully it was insightful. Hopefully it helped you out in some way, shape or form. And love to get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below. So that said, drop your thoughts down there in the comment section down below, like Domination XL, like the new contracts, you like what we're gonna be seeing with the emblems, all that kind of stuff. Let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Love to get your thoughts and feedback, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding Call of Duty World War II, anything regarding best class apps, tips, tricks, news, information, all that good stuff. We got you covered here up on the channel. So if any of it interests you, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. And if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, getting real close to 9,000 followers. So if you guys want to help me out over there, that link is in the description below. And also, if you guys want to follow me over on Instagram, trying to get more active over there as well, that link is also in the description. But all that said, Natalie, hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Might as well espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.